Uh, good afternoon to all the viewers. I'm happy to share a nice surprise with you guys. It's around the corner from the lodge. I actually visited the pool today. And in the middle there, in the mix, is a tiny, tiny little calf. That almost seems barely a few days old. See the calf is now on the other side, busy suckling. It's always still got that pinkish stains after birth. Uh, kind of very uh, flimsy on the feet. How oh, adorable. Grabbing some more milk over there. These breeding herds doesn't have to move too far every day. With a small little calf like that, they can't expend too much energy with the calf. Look at the huge size difference between mother and calf. That's too cute. crossing in front of the vehicle gave us a very nice close walk by and Isaac up front still as cool as ice <laughs> Mr. Isaac how are you today sir? Uh, still good good alright that is a lovely walk by quick elephant sighting with a tiny little calf and they move on further to the north or at least walking towards our airstrip Uh, fumbling over his own feet. It's too adorable. This little guy is trying to push over trees his mother can. <laughs> I want to feed on trees as soon as possible, thank you. After all, they do drink milk for two years of their life, up to three years. And only about three to four months into their young lives they do taste solid foods. This little guy is trying to uproot trees at his age of a few weeks old. <laughs> His mother giving him a good lesson on how to do it one day. But for now he is only a milk drinker.
sort of white stains of birth typical from the youngsters and the hair on their bodies looks very fluffy and much longer and of course no tusks yet that will only appear after about two years sometimes even with a little bit of a kink on the tail like that chap I'm trying. Tender moment between mother and calf there. These animals do, after all, show a lot of affection towards each other, one of the most social beings out here. Seat nice and close to the Rockford Land Rover. But everybody is relaxed and chilled, no threatening signs from the elephants. Enjoying our presence over here. Yes. One of the most difficult things is to leave such a precious sighting. But I know we still have to. We've got leopard on the wildlife menu from the back here. Quite cold today, the ears kept close to the body most of the time. It's just to conserve the heat. Well now that's how you should start a safari in your afternoon, especially on the cold days like this. Fantastic. We've just received an update from the very far southeast at Tumbela and a cup just been relocated so it's quite far so hopefully by the time we do get there uh, we'll get to see them maybe through the video camera i'll be sure to update you once we are thanks for tuning in so nightfall is setting and creeping on us quite quickly but from the gopro there is Tumbela on, on the ground and she's leaving a cub feed now up in that tree over there. That's where the cub is right up in that tree with Tumbela down below. They switched over to the video camera. Check it out there. So that is Tumbela that's down on the ground. She briefly glanced up to where her kill is wasted up. And her one year old boy is up there at the kill site. And he's busy devouring that meat up there. We'll shoot over to him shortly. It's just such nice side light falling on Tumbela from the other vehicle. Very short lived. The light blue eyed queen of the Eastern Territories. I haven't seen her of late much. It's such a pleasure catching up with her now. You're watching Heartbeat of the Timbavati. Coming to you from Rockvik Safari Lodge. We are watching Tumbela female. I can hear Isaac up front saying it's a Stienbok, which she managed to hunt successfully. Now the cub is busy feeding right up there in the tree. Unfortunately, a Steenbok ram has fallen prey to leopards out here. Tumbela has successfully hoisted it up to avoid hyenas and any competition on the ground. And the cub is busy feeding up top. He's more or less almost a year old. Ooh. A lot of times the cubs would play around too much with the carcass and we'll actually drop it from there just a lack of experience there 
is a couple of hyenas. On approach we saw one hyena. So they are in the area. But if he had to drop that small carcass, I'm sure the mother would quickly come collected and rehoist it. On the ground, Tumbela is growling quite furiously towards hyenas. Guys, look behind us, there is a hyena coming too close for Tumbela's comfort levels. All right, she's keeping a close eye. Look at that, she's busy growling at the hyena. See if we can get a quick glimpse of the hyena that's uh, staring in desperacy towards this carcass up top. Luckily for leopards, hyenas cannot climb trees and won't ever be able to, maybe in two million years from now. Very windy and cloudy, kind of ominous weather that we're finding ourselves in, but nevertheless the sightings keep on coming in. Timbavati, world class for some of the best leopard sightings in the Greater Kruger. And here we can see why. Tumbela's cub feeding off a steenbok. It's crazy. It's crazy. A lot of branches, unfortunately, in the way here. Maybe we'll get another. He dropped a piece of bone or meat there. If he drops that carcass now, it will basically fall right on top of mom. So if he wants to play a dirty prank on her, he can do it now. Let me show you. So from there, up in the heights of the small marula, Right below where the cub is feeding is Tumbela. And she went to pick him up after successfully hunting the Steenbok and they walked all along a road and they ended up here where she brought him straight to his food. That's what you call a super mom. The young apprentice still trying to master the art of feeding up in a marula tree. I'm still having my money that he might drop that steenbok right on top of Tumbela's head. I must say it will be quite comical, but at least she'll have a quick moment to regather and hoist it back up here. Yeah? And they do that super quickly. Look at that long tail. After keeping the balance up in these trees. My leopards are so extremely agile up in trees. Isaac laughing in the front is a branch or a bone that almost dropped on Tumbela's head there. There she goes. Ah, oh, easy pickings. You see, what are you going to do with that bone, my friend? It's going to lie down on the ground there and chew it. She must just be sure that that chewing doesn't. It's not an open invitation to hyenas in the area now. They might hear the crackling of her carnassial shears crushing through that bone. Now who knows, they might even rock up here now. Yeah, just like I said, the hyena will not avoid that crunching of bone on the ground. So let's see if he tries his luck. Tumbela is hissing towards him, or hissing at him. 
interspecies specific competition competing over the same resources maybe Tumbela can sense that it might be a young hyena it is in fact a younger hyena so she can sense that by merely growling or snarling at the animal that would deter him and move, make him move away She's pondering of going back up in that tree there. So watching up top and watching the hyena. It's just amazing. So as the young boy is still taking his time on that carcass, his mother is getting ever too impatient down below. She's constantly watching the tree and watching towards that carcass. Uh, it's getting quite late now, we have a long way back, so from the Timbervati Game Reserve, this is Christoph Skuman. You're tuning into Heartbeat of the Timbervati. I'm glad you guys tuned in because this was an epic, epic leopard sighting. I leave them in peace. Until next time, I'll catch you soon.